New at 6, we've all been there. You go into Target to pick up a few items and you end up leaving with a whole cartload. KPIX 5's Kitto is live with the science behind what is called the Target effect. Kit? Yeah, so we talked to one local retail expert who says people who shop at Target crave excitement and that they come here looking for new items and new inspiration and that the company has gotten really good at making you buy things that you didn't even know you wanted. You know when you go into the store thinking you're going to buy that one thing and then you look over and you see that other thing and you're like, oh, and you also end up buying that other thing that you didn't even know about until then? Well, that thing has a name. It's called the Target Effect. Okay. You believe it? Yeah. Why? Because you go in for one thing and you come out with like 10,000 things. <laughs> Whitney Horn went into Target thinking she was just going to buy food for her son. And then? And then. <laughs> and then two bags later. The Urban Dictionary defines the Target effect as the result of going into a store intending to buy a few things and leaving with much more. This is a real thing? So, yes, it is a real thing. Kirti Kalyanam is a retail expert from Santa Clara University and says the Target effect is the opposite of the Amazon effect, where people shop online for their utilitarian needs. But Kirti says Target uses the tried and true technique of cross merchandising, setting up displays to help you discover what he says are products that excite the customer. Academically, we call this hedonic shopping, meaning it's not utility oriented. It's not like I want to solve something. It's something that I want to kind of please my senses. It's something that I do to open my mind. Kirti says Target has some of the best designers in the industry, and the company was smart to freshen up and renovate their stores, which means this whole Target effect is no accident. I think it's a very strong, deeper positioning they're carving out against Amazon. And if they have to survive as a retail chain against Amazon, they have to go this route. They have very few options. About the so-called Target effect, the company released a statement to us saying in part, our in-store shopping experience facilitates a sense of inspiration and discovery through visual merchandising and curated product collections, while still making it easy for guests who want to stop in for a quick trip. Alrighty, so our expert tells us that this whole phenomenon is not necessarily a bad thing because it's not like folks are going in there buying expensive high ticket items on a whim. And if you also change your mind or you don't like the thing that you bought, Target has a very generous return policy. And we're live in downtown San Jose, Kipto, KPIX5.